Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video here on Toned In Entertainment. Today, we have the latest AEW All Elite Crate to take a look at. Now it is January 2024, so this one is themed The Road to Revolution. What goodies are inside? Well, of course, the only way is to open this bad boy up and find out. All right, guys, here we go. I, I, God, it's been so long since we've had an AEW crate. With them being quarterly, I forget who's supposed to be in this crate. We'll put the spoiler card to the side and we'll start off with the t-shirts like we always do. And inside, well, he's only been there in AEW for a short time, but they've already got him in the mystery crate. We've got an Adam Copeland shirt right here. And we've got, he's got a skull. We got the rated R superstar. We got a really cool Adam Copeland shirt to kick this box off with. Next up, I could tell by the logo, and I love the design of this because I'm a big retro guy. I love the 80s, I love the 90s. And look at this, the FTR shirt. I love the design on here. I love the entrance music, the throwback to the Midnight Express music. This is a cool shirt. I am digging this logo shirt right here for FTR. Let's go to our micro brawler. And we've got a Luchasaurus micro brawler. Now, he's not Kill Switch here, so they haven't updated the name change. So they must have done this a while ago, but a Luchasaurus one is pretty cool. He's got the tattoos, he's got the mask, he's got the tongue sticking out. So this is a, a cool Luchasaurus. Uh, I think we got Jungle Boy. Did we get Jungle Boy in the last one? Maybe one before that. So you can kind of put them back together as a tag team if you have both micro brawlers. Now I guess they want to send us back to school or at least Sanjay Dutt wants to send us back to school because they've given us one, two, three, four, five pencils. Are they number two pencils though? Can they be used for SATs or filling in the bubbles at school? I'm not sure, but maybe we can just stick them right here behind the ear. We got Sanjay Dutt AEW pencils. I don't plan on going back to school anytime soon, so I'll have to find some use to, for them. Oh, okay, here we go. We got a pin, an MJF pin. He is our scumbag. He's no longer our AEW world champion. Is he even still in AEW? Well, I hope he is because he truthfully is. He is our scumbag. <laughs> Why not? We got scissors, literal scissors. Now I do have the whole collection of the, uh, the acclaimed and daddy ass micro brawlers. And let's take these scissors out because I will be keeping, I mean, you always need a pair of scissors, right? Yep, and on the on the scissors, it actually says the acclaimed here. There you go. You can always scissor anytime. We've got our poster, the big fight feeling posters as I like to call them. And this one is with MJF and Danielson from uh, Revolution from last year. This was the Iron Man match, I believe, right? Yes, the 60 minute Iron Man match, you got the poster, you got MGF, you got Brian Danielson, that was a great, a great match for the uh, AEW Championship, and a cool big fight feeling poster. Now I think we have, well we have a patch, let's get to that. For all the Dan Housen fans out there, you get yourself a Dan Housen patch in this AEW crate, and it looks like another flag is in here. They've been dealing out these flags quite often in both the pro wrestling crate and the AEW one. And this month we have, who do we have here? Oh, okay, well, we had our scumbag, the former world champion, and now we have our current AEW heavyweight champion, Samoa Joe. A Samoa Joe flag. Big fan of Samoa Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. And last, but certainly not least, is the autograph. 
Now, the Pro Wrestling Crate had two. This one, it feels like there's just one. And, hey, look who it is. We got Sky Blue, eight by 10. I think this is her first time being in a AEW All Elite Crate. We got Sky Blue, in case you guys don't know. My most viewed interview on Toned In Entertainment is Sky Blue when she was wrestling in the Indies. So if you haven't already, definitely check out the interview. You guys have probably already have. It's got quite a lot of views on it. But here we go, a Sky Blue 8x10. All right guys, well, what did you think about the Road to Revolution 2024 AEW Mystery Crate? What goodies, did, was there a chase in yours? Did you get a Luchasaurus chase? Comment down below and also let me know what you thought about this month's crate. And are you going to Revolution? It's Sting's retirement match. It's dropping down from the rafters. So you know Tone in Entertainment is making his way. He will be on the road to Revolution to check out Sting's final match in March in North Carolina. All right, guys, if you like unboxing videos like this, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can stay tuned in here to Tone in Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.